Hey guys, it's Rose Raiden here, and this is another episode of My Universe. This is uh, part 5 of um, Roll Week 2. And on the card tonight, we actually have a Divas match. Oh my god, yes, a Divas match on Raw twice in, twice in a row. Wow. This is uh, uh, Kelly Kelly versus uh, Maurice, I believe. I forget. Um, anyway. Um, I don't really want to talk about the gameplay at the moment. What I want to talk about is WWE 13. Now, <coughs> there's been a lot of talk about the DLC as of late. And what people want to see in the DLC. Basically, what I want to see in the DLC is not really DLC. It's more of an expansion pack. Because last year after WrestleMania, um, the WWE introduced a lot of new wrestlers that weren't going to be featured in WWE 12 or, WW or until WWE 13. Such as Ryback, such as um, um, Funaki, or... Funaki, Jesus Tensai, excuse me, um, and Brodus Clay as Funkasaurus, and I'm sure there's others that escape me, but what I want to see is a DLC around WrestleMania with new superstars, new movesets, new pay per views as well, because last year they changed it, and No Way Out is now coming up and there's no no way out pay-per-view on WWE 13 or on WWE 12 so it 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 makes sense to do it this way and um, it makes sense to make a DLC with or an expansion pack much like EA Sports did with the Euros they added um 52 teams to the um to they added a whole new game mode basically um to FIFA 13, FIFA 12 so that's what WWE t uh, 13 should do as an expansion pack not a DLC i think um people would pay money people would be pay money for that over over the um over a DLC it's just my opinion uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. The other thing I want to talk about is is there's a match coming up between um, Kofi Kingston and Jacob Cass. Now I won't spoil it for you, but basically what happens is there's a run in, and you'll see. Uh, I'm gonna put the video up on my channel, but I'd like that fixed. Where um, Kofi Kingston is walking down to the ring, and then he's near the ring, and then all of a sudden it cuts back to where he gets pulled and he gets attacked. As I'm saying that, Eve Torres run, or Eve runs into the ring. It's really bizarre, and he gets attacked, and he gets you know attacked right uh, right out of the entrance ramp and it just looks really bad but i'll put that video up on my channel if you guys want to take a look i think um thq should fix that if they can um i mean as you saw last week they did with um kelly kelly got attacked in her match last week which is and Basically, that's what that should happen. And Eve Torres went down like a ton of bricks there. That's pretty awesome. <coughs> so, that's it for what I want to talk about uh, regarding up and coming games. Um, I have an announcement, an announcement to make that, as many of you probably already know, I put superstars on my channel and not Mystery Gamers. What I'd like, what I'm, 
going to do now is I'm changing things on my channel until WWE 13 comes out. My channel is going to, or all of my con my WWE content will be on Mystery Gamers. So that's every episode of my universe will be on Mystery Gamers. There will be none on my channel. Kelly Kelly won the match there and the Divas of Destruction or Divas of Doom, whatever you want to call them, came down and stared her down. She wants to fight them both by the looks of it. They might want a title match. We'll see what happens next week. Tune in. And we have The Miz versus CM Punk, the champion. I'd like to know is, do you guys like, are you guys enjoying my, uh, my WWE, uh, my um, universe mode even? Let me know in the comments below. Do you want me to do anything different? There will be pay-per-views. I'm not sure how I'm going to do the pay-per-views though, considering there will be like probably more than one or two, three matches. The pay-per-views might be on my channel. I will see. I know I said all of the content, my WWE 12 content will be on Mr. Gamers, but we'll see about pay-per-views. So if you want to watch the pay-per-views, I might even stream the pay-per-views. We'll see what happens. If I get a better internet connection, I'll definitely stream the pay-per-views. That would be pretty awesome. Um, I've never streamed before. I've never done a live cam before, but I'm planning on doing them because I got myself some awesome headphones, the PX21s. And the buzzing has stopped because I had some weird buzzing um, when I tried to record this a few days ago. I figured out what it was, so it's all good. There's no more buzzing. Ooh, nice neck, br neck breaker there by CM Punk. CM Punk into the ropes and he puts him on top of the rope. Oh, big elbow there. Big elbow there, fantastic editing as you can all see. <laughs> yes. I ooh and he ooh back body breaker there. Ooh. Yes. The best in the world versus the awesome one. The best in the world. Oh uh, nice, nice. Weird. Boom. Sam Sam has a signature. Oh my god, my god, Sam Sam is going for the win. I don't know what Sam Sam's signature is. I forget. Do do do. Oh. Ooh, the Miz. Here comes the skull crushing finale. Boom! And the Miz picks up a historic win there over the WWE Champion. Wow. And we jump straight into Alberto Del Rio versus John Cena. You guys should watch next week because I have a surprise for you. I'm going to do something that nobody else has done. I've been thinking about it for a while and I think next Monday is that time for Raw. For my little surprise. And you will see. What will it be I wonder? Hmm. Do do do! Oh, elbow there by Alberto Del Rio. Delberto Del Rio. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Ah, Alberto Del Rio, stop going for the the Irish whip. 
Lamb. Lamb. Oh, he's got the cross arm breaker on. Oh. It's John Cena fights out of it. Alberto Del Rio. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Cena goes for the attitude adjustment or the F5 or whatever you want to call it, the attitude adjustment. We'll just call it the attitude adjustment. One, two, three. And Cena wins. Here's what I was talking about. Although I edited it, so. Jacob Cass is waiting. Oh my god. Dolph Ziggler wants some of Jacob Cass. Let's see what happens. Today's remarkable matchup. J pick. Ooh. Jacob Cass is building up a good offense. He's in a bad spot here. Oh my goodness, what a Frankensteiner. He's removing the turnbuckle. Jacob Cass goes to take the turnbuckle off the rope. Oh wow. Go Jacob. If you're wondering why uh, Jacob Cass I might do, if you guys want, I can do a, um, the Road to WrestleMania, as well as this. Let me know in the comments below. And I can do the Road to WrestleMania then as well, as a uh, live com as well, which would be pretty interesting. <clears throat> I never actually finished the road to WrestleMania, so I don't know yet. I don't know what it's like, but we'll see. Uh -oh. it looks like that last shot. Jacob Cass is busted wide open. Thanks to the show off, Dolph Ziggler. Ooh. Quick pin there by uh, by uh, Jacob Cass. Dolph Ziggler with the sleeper hold. And Jacob Cass. Or Dolph Ziggler picks up the win and Jacob Cass goes to Silly. Dolph Ziggler's celebrating in the ring after his matchup. And then he goes, Where is he going? What is he doing with that chair? Oh my god, he lays him out with the chair. Why is that? Why? Oh my god. And that's the end of the episode. Leave me a like or a comment.